Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, My Social Thread. My name's Crystal and today is another Friday Sews vlog uh, where I will talk about everything that I've been up to sewing wise this past week. So first of all, uh, what I'm wearing is just a Tilly and the Buttons um, Biddy sweatshirt, which you've all seen before. Um, and unfortunately this week I've only managed to make one thing because of the Easter holidays um, and just because I've just been super, super busy. So um, if you watched my previous uh, Friday sews and also my April plans, uh, you will know that I wanted to make up uh, this dress, the Ali Olsen Highlands wrap dress. Um, and it's basically made for a woven fabric. You've got the sleeveless version or with the sleeves It can be in midi length and or maxi length and it's also got a nice side split um, At the thighs at the thighs at the leg side so you can walk It's got back darts elasticated back waist um, bust darts and it's a wrap um, and I was going to make one uh, a wearable toile in the Lady McElroy linen chambray, which I have made in practice for a dress that I wanted to wear to my brother-in-law's wedding which is tomorrow and I was going to make the wedding dress or the dress for the wedding um, in this lovely lace bear with me in the lovely uh, Guy Pure lace that I showed you beforehand with the champagne lining sort of with a champagne lining Unfortunately, I've only managed to make the wearable toile, but I'm super, super happy with it. Um, and I don't have time anymore to make the, the lace dress. Um, and then actually I thought, because it's an April wedding and it's a quite summery now, I kind of thought that the black might be uh, not uh, very appropriate for the occasion. Um, but I do have another dress, an Eve wrap dress, that I wore to a ball a couple of years ago, and I've only worn it once. And it's um, I'm going to I'm planning to wear that uh, because it's a my brother-in-law is marrying a, a lovely lady um, who's to be my sister-in-law. Uh, she's a doctor and she's Nigerian and basically uh, from previous weddings I've been to that are Nigerian weddings or Indian weddings they are quite glitzy and sparkly and I think uh, wearing a glitzy sparkly dress as a wedding guest uh, to this type of wedding uh, will not look out of place uh, because like I say they do love the glitz and the the gold and, and the sparkles and everything else so I'm planning to wear that I will pop up a picture if I can uh, in the meantime this is just a lovely dress that I could wear for another sort of more daytime occasion I think so this is, as I say, the Ali Olsen wrap dress. I've never made this dress before. Um, the measurements, uh, they do a B cup and a D cup, which is great. So you don't have to do your full bust adjustments or your small bust adjustments. Uh, the measurements, it goes from a size zero to a size 18. And that's in American sizing, I believe. I think it's American. It's definitely not UK. Um, and that is a waist of 26 inches to a waist of 37 and a half inches, bust of 32 inches, to a bust of 43 and a half inches. I went with a size eight, which was perfect for my measurements. Um, and I went for a B cup as well, which is great. Um, so it tells you um, how to measure between your high bust, which is just above your chest, and your full bust, which is at the apex, and then the difference between the two. If it's two inches difference, you go for a B cup. If it's more than two inches, you go up to a D cup. Um, and that's basically the, the premise of, of the cup sizing what do I want to say about this pattern I really really like this pattern so it's a woven pattern um the I went for the long sleeve version with the midi length although it is kind of between midi and maxi on me because I'm only five foot three and basically what it is I'll show you one here so you have it's a, a full wrap and I'll open it for you can you see it and it has like a little button tab on here which is lovely so you've got a little button tab there and then you open it up and there is another button tab here as well. Um, what can I say? So the front two pieces are joined together. So it's one whole front piece um, and it's a full wrap and it's facings all the way round to the hem, all the way round the back and all the way round to the other hem as well. The sleeves, I have um, hacked the sleeve a bit so that you can see that I've got the gathers again, which you know that I like. I don't know if you can see. Ah. So the gathers on the sleeve head, which I like, and it gives it a bit of poof, which I like. Um, 
and I didn't do any other amendments actually. What I like about this dress is, so the front pieces are one whole piece as I say, but the back piece, um, you have a, a back bodice and a skirt with a waistband, and then you have um, an elastic in here as well. I don't think the elastic is necessary. I guess you could just maybe put a dart on the skirt piece um, and just forget about the elastic because I found that the elastic only went in, you can see the gathers are very, very slight. Um, so you could, I guess, hack that so that you don't have to put the elastic. I like the fact that the um, that it's got the waist ties. I really love the waist ties um, and the um, the button um, tabs here. So you've got one on the outside and one on the inside. The other thing I like is because it has um, the facings on the whole of the garment and the side split as well. I don't know if I can show you the side split. There. sorry about the mess of my sewing room so you've got the side split here and it has instructions on how to do beautiful mitered corners I don't know if you could see that so it's a beautiful mitered corner here and it is actually a pretty easy uh, thing to do but it looks so professionally done um, and what it is I don't think I can explain it fully uh, but basically where you have your raw pieces you just um put it at an angle, sew it through, and then turn it inside out. It's quite hard to describe, but if you do ever go for this pattern, you will learn how to do beautifully mitered corners. So I love the finish of it, uh, where, the, where the side split is. It's all beautifully mitered. Um, and what else? It's a lovely fit, fit in me as well. I will, try, I will pop up some photos up on here as well for you. Um, what else? The instructions were fairly easy to follow um and yeah i really like it um this is a linen chambray from lady McElroy fabric so they do this um print in a viscose chalet as well but i love a linen and i love a chambray actually and i love lady McElroy. so that all goes together quite nicely um so that's the only make i did this week unfortunately because we had just we spent five days in london for the easter for holy week and for easter weekend and we only got back Monday evening. And then, as you can imagine, I mean, I have eight children. So eight children and two adults, five days worth of dirty laundry. I think we did like seven loads on the Monday and, and the Tuesday combined. And then it was ironing, putting everything away. <laughs> and then the wedding is again this weekend. So we're off to London again. Um, so it's another, but we're only staying for one night this time. So not too much laundry. Um, and so that's the dress there. I really, really like it. I love the fit. I love the fabric. And actually, you can dress this up or dress this down, I believe. If you wear just flip-flops or sandals, it can be just like a lunch sort of brunch um, outfit. If you wear heels, I guess you could wear it as a, as a wedding day guest um, outfit as well. Although the other dress that I'm going to wear, I think, is more suitable for this particular wedding. And that's why I'm not wearing that. But I'll be wearing this on Sunday, I believe, when I go to Sunday Mass after the wedding. So that's that. Um, on top of that, I just wanted to remind everybody about Selfless Sew April. Uh, the um, reveal date is coming up uh, quite quickly. Uh, so it's the 30th of April. Everybody needs to post their makes under the hashtag Selfless Sew April 22. Any work in progress or any other photos related to the challenge in the meantime, please post that under Selfless Sew April 22 whip. And the reason for that is we will only be looking at entries posted on the 30th of April otherwise so that we know sort of the cutoff points and it just makes it easier for us to identify the entries. Um, if you could please indicate who you're making the garment for, what category you're entering. So you've got adult wear, children's wear 0 to 2, children's wear 2 plus, pet wear and accessories. Um, that would be great. Also, if you could add um, sort of the fabric and the pattern that you use, which is kind of normal when you're posting things on Instagram, I think, because it's nice for people to know, um, you know, if they wanted to copy your garment or if they're inspired by your garment, people will be able to find out where you got the fabric and the pattern for, from and so on. Um, what else am I going to say da, 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 about that? And that's it pretty much. So in the way that we're um, judging these... I say judging, obviously myself, Adele, and Claire now as well from Stitch Hem Sew has joined, joined us on this challenge. Uh, when I say judging, obviously we're not qualified in any sort of sewing capacity whatsoever. Uh, but it will just be uh, a light-hearted judging. Um, you know, we will just um, judge between us three, which we think um, 
deserves the places uh, for 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 winning in particular categories so the adult wear you have six uh, places or six prizes to be won children's wear naught to two three prizes children's wear two plus three prizes pet wear three pi prizes accessories three prizes and then the rest of the prizes uh, will be drawn at random so basically there's two ways of winning either winning a place in one of the categories or a random draw um at the end um all in all we have about 59 prizes thank you so much for all the lovely sponsors for their generosity and for posting and promoting the challenge as well if you do go to my instagram on at my social thread or um so for serenity or stitch hem so you will see that we have been uploading all of the sponsors and their prizes so you're aware of that and there's lots and lots of chances to win as i say 59 prizes about 18 are going to the categories and then the rest will be a random draw so anybody everybody has a chance of winning um and that's for selfless so april so i do hope you you join that challenge um any comments please comment below or contact me via instagram at my social thread um the other things i've got to show you is a fabric haul so rainbow fabrics did a recent drop and i did manage to get some bits from there um, and i will just walk you through them when i say walk i mean not really walk so the first thing i bought was this yellow red ditzy bokeh floral su sustainable spun viscose and that's in three i got three meters of that and actually i like the look online but i didn't realize how beautiful it was going to be so I really, really love it. So it's a black base with these lovely florals on it. And it's lovely and drapey. So you've got yellows, blues, corals. Um, and that's a lovely print. And I think it reminds me of the Cloud 9 fabric, which is a designer fabric, um, if some of you don't know. Um, and it's quite expensive. I think it's like £20 a metre or more. And this was... Um, oh, I don't know how much it is. It doesn't say on the thing. This must have been like five ninety nine a metre, which is a bargain. Plus, you get a discount overall as well. And so I'm planning to make the... Um, is it called the Bakerloo dress from Nina Lee with the big collars? I saw Kath Craft um, from Made by Kath Craft. She's got a lovely Bakerloo dress in a similar pattern. I believe she bought... She used the Cloud9 fabric as well, actually. Uh, but I'm going to copy that one. And I quite like... Um, quite like a baker loom in that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hack the pattern to put a button button placket at the back and then omit the closing at button placket at the front sorry and omit the uh, closure at the back so that's that one so i've got three meters of that one and i really really love this one this is my favorite one to date well for this um for this haul then i got a blue marigold floral viscose crepe and it's like a cobalt blue with sort of mustards, yellows and orange florals. And so it's a viscose with a drape, but then it's got like the crepey texture. And this looks exactly like it looked online. So um, I'm not surprised. I like it, but with this one, it looked better in real life. And that's why I'm super surprised and I'm super happy about this one. So this is, I got this in three meters as well. The next one I got was a red, frosty, pink, lush, floral, sustainable spun viscose in a black again. And it's more ditzy, similar colours to the other one, actually. But sort of, and that's three metres as well. And these kind of fabrics um, my daughter likes to use up as well. So we can we can share this haul, as it were. Um, black cream speckles, eco vero viscose crepe in sort of an ivory background with black splodges and that's more for sort of autumn winter makes I think so that's that one three meters of that um the next one is the black rust irregular polka dot visco shelly so it's in a black with a mustard spots again mustard if you've watched me previously I love mustard and also my daughter loves mustard or it suits our, our skin tones quite nicely so I love that three meters again of that and then the last one is a blue leopard eco vero viscose crepe again in a lovely blue colorway leopard print and it's got that crepe texture to it and i think this is x designer marks and spencers i believe because um on their website there's a picture of a m&s model with a dress made up of this fabric so that's what i got from rainbow fabrics kilburn most of those were either 4.99 a meter or 5.99 a meter plus the 20 percent discount that you get and i used the discount that um yousef gave uh, during his interview with me um and that was um 
crystal 20 i believe i'm not sure uh, but i will post it down below um, and i will pop up a card uh, for that interview if you want to if you fancy watching that the other thing i got um i actually my daughter bought this for me for mother's day when was mother's day gosh a month ago and it's basically a kit a ready to sew kit from little miss so-and-so now little miss so-and-so they do some they're a fabric store um they do lots of different fabrics they do liberty fabrics uh they do all the sort of the viscoses the jerseys sweatshirting everything they do the haberdashery lots of patterns uh they do subscription box so if you've seen my uh, some of my vlogs before my daughter subscribes to the patchwork and quilting subscription box um and they also do sort of children's subscription box with sort of um all the materials needed to make a particular project like an apron or a pencil case that sort of thing and they also do ready to set to sew sets which is great so my daughter bought me the sage brush top set this is the paper cup paper pattern and I'm sure you know all about this pattern. It's very popular. I love the big poofy sleeves. It's got a frill at the back, at the front, and a little tie at the back. And I can use, obviously, all of my viscoses. You can use double gauze. Um, you can use any fabric, actually. So the stiff of the fabrics are cotton lawn or cotton poplin. You get more of a structured um, sleeve, which is nice. And then if you use the viscoses or the... Um, double gauzes it'll be like a softer a softer look which is nice as well and so i chose uh this beautiful i'm sure you'd all recognize it atelier brunette um viscose with the gold embroidered um circles i think you'd call them um in their ochre colorway and double gauze basically is two um layers of cotton fabric woven together and a sort of sewn at various parts so they stay together i've never bought a uh, fabric from atelier brunette before because it is a designer fabric and it is quite expensive but this kit um so the fabric uh, pattern the fabric needed for this pattern you get the pattern obviously the fabric you get the matching thread gutterman's matching thread and you get the elastic for the sleeves and that was 35 pounds which is great um so thank you talia for that and just to say um, Little Miss So-and-So, their kits are actually slightly unique to other companies, I think. So with other companies, you get obviously everything you need for that particular garment in a kit. Um, and sometimes you get to choose between the fabric patterns. So if it's like a sweatshirt, there's two different um, fabrics on, on offer. Uh, Little Miss So-and-So go a couple of steps further than that because for every pattern that they have, they have a, a choice of bases. And then from those bases, there's a choice of prints as well. And everything is obviously from their store. So, for example, with the sage brush top, you could make it in a cut cotton lawn and a double gauze. And if you click on the double gauze, it then shows you the list of all the double gauze they have in their store. So you can click and no, so you can comment in the comment section of what fabric you want as part of your kit. And that will arrive, obviously, to you. Um, likewise with the cotton lawn if you click on cotton lawn all of their cotton lawns come up and then you can choose again um, whether you want a cotton lawn print for your for your kit which I think is really really good because it's just giving you the options which is great again what else do they have on there they've got the pearl card Tilly and the buttons pearl card again so with that one you get a choice between quite a few choices actually you get a choice between cotton jersey as a base sweatshirting and a viscose jersey so i think it's three bases and then every time you click per base you get the choice of all the prints that they have in their shop which is amazing um likewise i mean they've got the liar addresses they've got coats they've got um they've got so much on there i will link little miss so and so down below so you can have a lovely browse through there and i just think it's lovely um and it's quite affordable i think i mean 35 pounds for a paper pattern atelier brunette uh, designer fabric um i think it's a great price sorry children in the background um so that's that kit uh, also i finally received my um as you know i am a blogger for jenny stitches fabrics and i finally received my blogger package to be fair i should have got this about three or four weeks ago uh, but unfortunately it went it was delivered to my old address in london and we've moved to cambridgeshire uh, but luckily the um the new owners of the house um 
uh, delivered the package to my brother-in-law who still lives two doors down from our old address so um, but when we went up to London to see them over Easter I was able to get my package <laughs> so uh, Jenny's stitches it comes in a um, lovely paper bag with a um, little uh, stamp on there which is lovely and the project I'm doing for Jenny my first project is going to be the by hand London Hannah dress so you get a lovely paper pattern and these are about what 17 18 pounds um and it's basically a wrap dress i love a good wrap dress and you've got choices of sleeves you've got the long bishop sleeves here um and i'm going to go for the long bishop sleeves i'm going to try and amend the um sleeve head again to make it more poofy and then the waist tie here and the ties at the um at the sleeves uh, at the hems i'm going to use um some bias binding so the fabric that I chose from Jenny's store is this lovely viscose fabric. So it's a lovely, um, I want to say baby pink, but it's like slightly darker than a baby pink with um, burgundy rust florals on it. I got three meters of that viscose. I think it's called Pretty in Pink. I have seen this elsewhere. So over it, um, I think they did their... Is it so I've seen it on so over it. Guthrie and Garney did their um one of their kits with uh, this fabric as an option. So that's lovely. And I think this was only like four pounds for half a meter, which is great. Um and what I do like about Jenny Stitches is their their shop is smaller than than other independent stores but their prices are so so low um and they're very very competitive for example their boiled wool now pound fabric sorry i'm just going i'm a bit messy at the moment with what i'm talking about pound fabrics are relatively inexpensive and i normally go there where i've seen fabric elsewhere and i'll check out pound fabrics because i know that if they have it it's going to be cheaper now jenny stitches fabrics their boiled wool is cheaper than Pound Fabrics boiled wool by like two pounds, which is amazing. I haven't bought it yet because it's obviously spring, summer and a boiled wool is more for the winter. But it's nice to know that they are competitive with their prices and it's the same quality, if not better. So back to the By Hand London Hannah dress. So that's the viscose I chose. And then I've also chosen some uh, burgundy wine satin bias binding, like I said, for the... Um, for the ties at the waist and also the ties at the bishop sleeve so you can see there's a lot of puff and billowiness there which i like and i'm going to try and like i say amend the sleeve head it might already be gathered but i will amend it to give it more poof uh and then i also get the matching uh gutterman's thread for that i now have four weeks to make up this dress and then i will take some lovely photos do write up a blog post submit that to jenny um and in return for that so obviously all of um the fabric, the pattern, the bias binding and the thread, everything I need for the project was given to me free of charge in return for a um, honest review. And after that as well, Jenny will um, give me a £30 voucher from her store. Um, and, and that's part of the blogger package, which I think is really, really um, quite generous because I know for most uh, sort of blogger packages, uh, you only get sort of the fabric and the notions and the patterns. Uh, but Jenny goes again one step further, she gives you a £30 voucher per project that you complete. So I think that's amazing. I can't wait to get that sewn up um, and go hopefully get onto my next project um, next month, hopefully. So that's the Jenny Stitches fabric uh, blogger package. Um, the last thing I wanted to do is. Jenny was also doing a 15% discount um, over the Easter period and I just had a look on her shop and there was fabric that I'd never seen before and um, that I've never seen in any other shop before so I bought some more things again she's got her big um, big brown packaging here with us with her stamp on it the um, it's wrapped up in sort of old um, sewing pattern tissue paper and what I bought was if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I have put up photos of this. Uh, I have bought the Closet Court Kelly Anorak. And I really love this. I love, I live in the country now. So I think it would be nice to have a lovely me made sort of um, country outdoorsy coat. 
And I really love this. I've seen some amazing versions online under the hashtag Kelly Anorak. Um, and I just wanted to give it a go because it's quite a meaty project. It's got sort of pockets and it's got like a yoke here. Oh, let me just show you the line drawing. So you can either have just a funnel neck without the hood or you can have the hood and the drawstring. Um, so I'm going to go for this version here. But from previous uh, vlogs that I've seen or previous um, garments that I've seen, it is quite short as in it literally just comes just below your bum. And I just want to lengthen mine just by maybe a couple of inches. So it's just slightly mid thigh because... As I said before, I am quite a cold person. I um I feel the cold quite a lot and I like to be warm and cozy. Um, so I got that. So again, 15% off everything in her shop, so that was good. So I got this. I also got the um the snaps. So I went for sort of the antique copper snaps, which is kind of almost like a rosy gold colour. So I've got two packets of those. Um, and that comes with a tool to fix them, obviously. And I've got a Gutterman thread, so now that will give you an idea of the fabric that I've chosen. Um, sorry, just quickly, she also gives you a lovely card, and that's her there, and that's the shop as well, which is lovely, lovely handwritten note as well. So the fabric that I've bought is, oh, this is egg, uh, Deadstock X Designer, X Barber, B-A-R-B-O-U-R. And you can see here, it's a lovely brown herringbone fabric. It is a polyester, so it's not wool or anything. But that is just so super lovely. And I love the fact that it's dead stock. It's ex-designer. Um, and it's PU backed. So it's got like a waterproof um, coating, which is great for an anorak, I think. Um, and then the plan is, for my lining, I have... Um, I did actually place the order already for the William Morris. Um, do I have it here? No, I don't have it here. The William Morris um, Strawberry Thief um, dressmaking cotton from Just Fabrics in the navy again. So the same one that I did my Tilly and the Buttons long sleeve Lyra in. And I did order that, but then a couple of days ago they said that unfortunately um, they're out of stock and it's going to come back in mid-June, which is fine because I don't want to be making this coat anytime soon, probably June, July, August, so that it's ready for the winter. But I thought that I would purchase the items now because it is in dead stock um, X barber fabric that will go and then Jenny won't be able to get that back. And also she was doing the 15% off, so therefore I decided to buy that now. Uh, on top of that, um, I am going to quilt um, the William Morris fabric for the lining in the inside. So I have purchased some Thinsulate, which is, um, it's the branded Thinsulate. You know, you have like the gloves and like the sweatshirts and stuff. Um, so I'm going to use the Thinsulate, which is just like a, a thin wadding, but because it's got special properties that even though it's thin, it's really warm. And then I'm going to put the um, William Morris fabric on top and then quilt it, which basically means sewing them together in diagonal sort of diamond shapes as you would a quilt. And then I will use that for my lining for the main coat and the hood. And then for the sleeves, I'm just going to use some cheap and expensive um, lining material. I'm not sure if I'm going to quilt the arms yet because it might be too bulky. I'm not sure. But the reason I came up, well, the inspiration for this quilted version is Guthrie and Garni Lauren. She did a couple of years ago now, she made her own Kelly Anorak and she quilted um, some Lady McElroy fabric for hers and it looked really, really lovely. And she was the one also that recommended that Thinsulate and she even sent me a link um, for where to get the Thinsulate, which is great. So that's that project. Um, and I think that's it really. I think that's all done. Um, in the meantime, I have um, obviously received my So Haley Jane box. Uh, so that unboxing vlog is on my channel. Also my daughter's uh, Little Miss So and So um, quilting and patchwork um, unboxing is on the vlog. Uh, is on the channel and a couple of our uh, um, interviews as well that I've done with some vloggers um Liz from the baker that sews also Marie who owns the fabric revival store she's on there um and there are I do have quite a few um interviews with vloggers and store owners um in my bank as it were and I am interviewing as well um vloggers and and shop owners in the meantime so hopefully I can release sort of one a week once a week um, in terms of that. Um, just to say as well that um, April has been super, super busy in terms of my sewing and I feel that unfortunately my um, my family and my children have been deprived of mummy because I have just been 
in my sewing room whenever I get free time I'm in my sewing room so I do miss out on sort of the football games and the board games and just the general sort of family time because I have been sewing a lot and so I have made a conscious decision to slow down on my sewing projects so going forward I hope to make sort of two to three items a month um, if they're coats for example maybe one or two I will be sharing with them them with you still and I will still be doing sort of um, my plans videos my makes videos at the end of the month and my Friday sews every week as well so you will still be getting content from me uh, but just to say maybe the makes that I will be doing will not be as plentiful um, because um, as much as I love sewing I think obviously sewing is is a hobby it should work around my life rather than my life working around my sewing and obviously my husband and my children are very very important to me and so I wanted to give them uh, just um, as much time as I do my sewing and also my two older children have got their GCSEs next month May and June and I really I normally do help them out with their revision because I like that and hopefully it's helpful for them and um, so I will be sort of spending time hopefully helping my children out in their exams um, and that's pretty much it uh, really I think um, thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed I am now at a thousand subscribers as of last week which I'm super super happy about thank you very much for everybody who has subscribed um, what else was I going to say and that's a thousand subscribers in less than three months which I think for me personally is a super big achieve super big achievement um, what else did I want to say if you do like my content and you haven't subscribed uh, please do consider the liking and subscribing um, and in the meantime I will leave you to it I will hopefully see you um, next week again for Friday shows and I have a interview with another vlogger coming out on Monday um, and I believe that is it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time thank you bye bye